this is Scott and this is my RV7. I want to show you around the uh, front half of the uh, airplane, the engine compartment, otherwise known as firewall forward. What you see here is an IO360 B2B engine. It was uh, assembled by Aerosport Power using uh, ECI engine components. And what I'm going to do now is going to give you a brief walk around of the engine compartment of my airplane. We begin at the very front. This is a uh, fiberglass spinner, and behind it is a Cato three-bladed propeller. It's pitched, it's a 66 inch diameter and a 76 inch pitch. It's uh, basically set up for cruise. Very smooth propeller, made by Craig Cato in California. What you see here is a spacer, it's a two and a quarter inch spacer, but what's unique about this one is because it's made out of uh, solid steel and I needed it to help uh, for weight and balance reasons because the uh, propeller is so light. I opted to put a very uh, heavy weight right here. Right behind it is the uh, starter ring gear, uh, which is part of the flywheel. And you see right here is the alternator belt connected to a BNC 40 amp alternator located right below. Again, this is a BNC products, very reliable, um, very expensive, but but it's a very reliable alternator. Up on the top half of the engine again, you see the fuel injection spider. The way you can tell any fuel injection engine is fuel injected is by looking for these little tubes, which lead right to the injector ports. One unique thing about my airplane is that it's um, the top spark plugs are fired by an electronic ignition system just like you would find in your car. Uh, this one is made by Lightspeed, uh, it's called a Lightspeed Plasma 3. And these are the coils which put out the high voltage to uh, excite the spark plugs. On the back half of the engine, this is the oil filler tube. This little uh, connector right here is to charge the battery should it need charging. Right here is the main aircraft battery. This is a 12 volt battery system and it's this battery is made by Odyssey. It's a PC680. Uh, you would find it commonly on motorcycles and the like. Right here is the brake fluid reservoir and this line that you see right here is the manifold pressure gauge. It's connected to uh, the sensors in the cockpit. This line connects to the cylinder right here. On the lower half of the engine on this side, these red lines are for the spark plugs. These are driven by a traditional aircraft magneto. And these silver wires that you see right here, one is for the cylinder head temperature and one is for the exhaust gas temperature. These are just simple probes held in place by standard uh, clamps that you could uh, buy pretty much anywhere. The lower half of the engine, this engine is an updraft configuration, meaning the air enters from the bottom and goes up vertically. The uh, air filter is located right in here. It's a Canon E3045 air filter and this is called the filtered air box. Right here is the fuel injection servo. You have an inlet and an outlet. The main fuel inlet is right here and the outlet is up here. This outlet goes up vertically through the baffles in the engine and connects to that spider up above. The uh, throttle and mixture controls are also on this unit as well. This right here is a safe air oil drain. It's a quick oil drain. So to drain the oil, it's very simple. Just pull the cowl and uh, unlock that valve and the oil will drain directly from the, from the oil tank. Right here is the exhaust muffler shroud and this is what heats the airplane. It takes cold air 
from the top of the engine through the baffles and it basically wraps a tube around the muffler system and that heats the local ambient air and it sends the uh, the air out this tube and into the cockpit the valve which is controlled by a little knob in the cockpit is right back there again it's very important to check regularly that there's no cracks in this tube because carbon monoxide could enter very easily right here are some electrical components these are uh, contactors or relays one is for the starter and one is for the uh, main electrical system bus and this is a big fuse and it's connected to the alternator right here is the main grounding system the main ground strap for the airplane is right here the silver braided uh, line and you have various electrical components which are grounded right here only the uh, electronic components on the front half of the engine are grounded here the grounds for the inside are on the other side of the firewall so let's walk around the other side of this airplane right here is the main and only starter it's made by SkyTech. it's a lightweight starter again you see the spark plug wires for the bottom spark plugs and the cylinder head and exhaust gas temperature probes the oil cooler sits right here you have an inlet and an outlet the main oil filter is right here and these sensors right here this is the oil pressure sensor just measures how much oil pressures um, through the engine and the lower one is for the fuel pressure those gauges um, connect to the instruments in the cockpit this is just a brace for the baffles there's a history of these baffles cracking in the back so a lot of people beef them up with a piece of aluminum like that this box right here is the electronic ignition system unlike a traditional magneto this is uh, controlled by electronics and needs a source of electricity to run I believe it will run all the way down to 6 volts so if you lose your main battery system if it drops below 12 volts the uh, engine uh, will still get spark from the system this little tube is also connected to the manifold pressure uh, sensor mechanical fuel pump is right here it's backed up by a high pressure fuel pump in the cockpit and lastly this is the magneto there's only one magneto on this plane again one side is connected to the mag and the other side is connected to this electronic ignition box these little devices are basically shock absorbers for the uh, for the exhaust system and you can see that the landing gear connects right through the engine mount system again this is this little box right back here is for the cabin heat the cutout in the firewall is made for engines which have a constant speed propeller it's a uh, little more clearance and the firewall itself is very thin stainless steel and the cowl is held on by these cam locks and this is just a strip of aluminum I riveted onto the uh, to the firewall to retain the cam locks so there you have it a quick and brief walk around of the engine on my RV 7A here at DeKalb Peachtree Airport.